To install the Arduino IDE on a Mac, open up Safari and go to the website www.arduino.cc. Once on the website, choose the software section and go on to downloads. Here on the right, you can see the Mac OS X version and click on it to download and just choose just download. Now you can wait for the download to complete. Once the download completes, open and extract the files that were downloaded. Move the Arduino application into your applications folder. Now you can launch it. Now what comes up next is going to be the Arduino IDE in which you can type and run your code. Now we'll write our first program which is the hello world program. Let's open up the Arduino IDE from what was just installed in the previous step. Make sure to check the board name as Arduino Uno and also make sure that the communication port is selected as COM3. Now to see the information sent by our Arduino, we got to open up the serial monitor you see on the right. We start off by putting in serial.begin 9600 in the void setup, which is the one time setup code required for sending information from the Arduino to the computer. 9600 here is called the baud rate. It is the rate at which the Arduino can send symbols or characters to the computer. In the wide loop we use a very simple serial dot print to show data on the serial monitor. Okay, you can first save it and then upload the design onto the Arduino. And now you can see that hello world is being sent by the Arduino to the computer and we can observe it on the serial monitor. What you can see is also that the serial hello world is being printed one next to another. If we use the slash n in our print, we will see that hello world will be printed one below another. Let's take a look at the second program that we will work on. We will design a simple counter. Open up the Arduino IDE and the serial monitor and let's start by defining the counter variable. Here we say int space counter equals one and add a semicolon at the end. This initializes the value of the counter to one at the beginning. Now, just like in the previous program, we initialize the serial connection. Now in the loop, what we do is we print the counter value and we also increase the value of the count one by one.
here we use the println command to automatically add a new line after having printed the value of the counter. Now this would be too fast and for us to be able to understand what happens in the output we add a delay and the argument is in milliseconds for, for a one second delay we will say delay thousand. Finally we increase the value of counter by one using the counter plus plus statement. Once we save and upload this design onto the Arduino, we can be able to see that a counter variable is constantly being increased in value and this value is being communicated to the computer over the serial connection. As you can see, the counter's value is going on incrementing. The next program that we'll work on is blinking the onboard LED of the Arduino. You can see that right next to pin number 13 in the digital pins, there is an LED which is sort of orange in color. We will learn how to make this blink every one second. The first thing we need to do, this is very similar to what we do in the Raspberry Pi, is to initialize the pin to be an output so that we can control its values. Here we say pin mode and we say 13 which is the pin for the inbuilt LED and we set it as an output so that we can send values of high or low. We begin our loop function by setting the value of the 13th pin to 1 or high. We do this using the digital write function and using the digital write function we set the value of pin 13 to high. We then add a delay of 1 second and then we set the value of the 13th pin to be low. We should not forget to add a delay after turning it low as well. Now when you run this code, you should be able to see the light next to the pin number 13 blinking. Now we will try to write a program that allows the Arduino to make an LED on a breadboard blink once every second. Just like in the previous code, we will set and this time we will choose pin number 12 and we will set it as an output. For this we do pin mode 12 comma output. Now in the void loop what we got to do is set this pin to high and then set this pin to low and use a delay after each one of these operations. We can also use the serial to communicate messages from the Arduino to the computer. We use the digital write function to turn the pin on or set it to high we 
now we add the delay of one second the same way now we turn the pin off by using a digital right and similarly we can add a message and the delays so that we see the output very clearly Now you can save and upload this code to your Arduino. Make sure to have the serial monitor open as well so that you can see the output. Now this code seems to work. It prints LED high, LED low every one second. What we need to do next is make a breadboard, or make an LED circuit on the breadboard and connect it to the Arduino to see the result. Now we will explore the connections to be made on the breadboard to make an LED blink from the Arduino. Just like in the Raspberry Pi, we set up the LED first. We place the LED on the breadboard across the middle separation. Then we add a resistor, a small resistor, which should be between 220 ohms and maybe about 500 to 600 ohms. We place one end on the same line as the LED and the other end on the railing for the ground. We use a wire to connect it to the ground pin on the Arduino. We then connect the other end of the LED to the pin number 12, which we are programming and as the program is already on the Arduino, we should immediately be able to see the light blink.